Oh, well, let's let, let's let's continue. Let's continue. So we have overcome the wicked one. Something that we must be persuaded of. So this is also to teach when we're reading and studying the scripture. It's written to us. It's like the Psalms. The Psalms are written to us. It's one thing I love about original Rastafari inspiration, which I see the Holy Spirit amongst the, 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 the early Rastafari in a powerful way. And we have to remember that purity of the testimony. You know, we've, come, we've come a long way, you understand, know, as a movement, but also through many temptations. So we have to remember this liberty, because this actual reasoning, we can call this a liberty reasoning. You understand? Know, I love the part where it says that the word of, of Jah, let's see if I have a highlighter around, that the word of Jah, the word of Jah, if you look in verse um, 14, 1 John chapter 2, verse 14, where he says that he has written to the fathers, right, to the fathers. Why? Because ye, because they, because we have known him that is from the beginning. He has written to you, speaking to the young, the young men, the, the Gwebizazat, right, the, the young men, because of what? Because they are strong, because ye, you all, you man, you man and Aras the Fari, you are strong, and, and, you have to connect this, and the word of Jah, the word of God, dwelleth in you. Now, check this out. If you don't feel strong, you have to check how that word is dwelling in you. Is it dwelling in you in faith? Is it dwelling in you in Yeshua? Is it dwelling in you in the Amen? Revelation chapter 3, verse 14. Is it dwelling in you in the sense of Yeshua, Yeshua's faith? Have you learned from the testimony to receive the testimony of Yeshua as your own? Yosin, as your very own, as very dearly beloved sons and daughters of the King of Kings through our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach, through Jesus Christos. That is very, very important to, 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 over, to overstand, to receive, to recognize without any doubt, without any wavering, without any double-mindedness. You understand? Because double-mindedness, it, 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 it causes loss. You understand? Know it causes a frozen psychological state. It causes stagnation. You understand? Know it stops the movement, the true spiritual, iritical movement from moving forward. You understand? Know when we get caught up on I and I self, you understand? Know it's to look at himself. So to recognize his I am in I and I. So when we say I and I am, it's not I and I, the, the flesh, or the old man, it's the new man in Yeshua HaMoshiach. You understand? It's the new man in Gietachin, Jesus Christos. So that word of Jah must abide in you. And it's not going to abide in you by osmosis. It's not going to abide in you by looking at the cover of the book. You understand? Or it's not going to abide in you just by being a one-verse Charlie. You understand? Know uh, by, you know, reading a verse. And that verse might be good. That verse might be necessary at the time. But you need to have a complete meal. You understand? Know you need to be perfect. That's what it says. Let patience have her perfect work. You understand? Know let, let patience. Don't, don't, don't be impatient. You understand? Know so so for, for a lot of the, the, the newcomers, you understand? Know it, it, it really depends on how you set your heart and your mind and your receptivity, your Kabbalah, your Kabbalah. How are you receiving this? Just like when we read this verse here where it says, I have written to you young men. So all the young men in the house, you understand, should say, should receive this as, we are strong and the word of Jah abide, it dwells, it's living, it's a liberty. It's a liberty for surety in I and I and I, Yovas. And to do that, do that work. What is the work? The work is to study, to show yourself approved, so that you would admit, so you will trust, you will amen, you will ma men, Yovas. And um, Babylon called it, and the mistranslation says, be laive. But that's, that's a kindergarten level. That's, 
that's a neophyte level. Once you come, get beyond that and recognize what is the word in truth. And we touched on that when we touched on pistis or pistoi. You understand? One who is faithful, you understand, in business transaction. One who executes um, commands. You understand? One who, who properly fulfills whatever delegated and official duties that are given to them is one example. It's a very good example, a working example, you understand, of faith, of one who is faithful. Babylon calls in their military, they say, Semper Fi. I and I say, Hule Tamain. Hule Tamain. Tamain. We say, Ras Tamain. If we were down to overstand that in Amharic, Ras Tamain means the head to be faithful. But who is the head? The head is Yeshua. The head of man, right, is Christos, is the Moshiach, even Negus, Negush Mashiach. He is the head, is the Moshiach, is our black Messiah. It's Yeshua HaMoshiach. It's even Christ in his kingly character. He is that head who is faithful. You understand? So it's not like we're trying to make our own righteousness. We are recognizing and receiving his righteousness, and that is what we derive. That's what we get. That's what we are fed. Remember, he is the what? He is the what? You understand? He is the, he is the vine, right? He is that vine, and we are the what? Branches. You understand? And the Father, Abba Kedus, Kedus, Sabatachin, he is that husband man. You understand? So when we listen to the teaching of his majesty, the teaching of his majesty, it, it prunes us. You understand? We might have to cut off this or that to, so that it can grow. It's just like if you're gardening. If you don't, if you, the, the crops that are pruned, you understand, and it's like disciplined. They grow better, they grow richer, they become more fruitful. Anybody in agriculture, anybody who has a garden knows this. You understand? And we're speaking about real-time things, things that manifest in reality. You understand? But now, spiritually, with that wisdom, we can now apply those principles even to our akahay even to our war, to our halakha, as it's said in the Hebrew, akahed bamarinya, to our walk, all right? So, it says that we have overcome the wicked one. Not that we will overcome the wicked one, it says we have already overcome the wicked one, because he says that all power in the heaven and earth is given to him. You understand? So, as we abide in him, you understand? We abide in in the Father, you understand, and we are one. So if he has overcome the world, you understand, through that imnet, through that faith towards Jah, we have overcome the world. Now some will say, well, how come we don't see it at all? Remember, we walk by what? By imnet. We walk by faith and not by sight, because we know that by seeing there's many illusions and delusions. You understand, that's why it's the spirit that gives us that discernment. You understand that discernment, so we can not judge by the flesh or condemn on the fleshy, you understand, but we can be acquitted in the spiritual height, and that overcomes all things. You understand? Now, verses 15 to 17, children must not love the present world. We as the children, as the, as the Bani Ha Elohim, as ye egezi ab her lijoch, we must not love this present world. We must not love this present world. Revelation chapter 13, verse 3, there's a note there for the, for the Schofield brothers and sisters who have this, can study that up. You'll find it here if you're on page 1322 with I and I. And if you're not, you can download it from the study page, the Schofield um, Reference Bible. It's a free download. You can use it on your tablet or your other type of um, whatever type of device, computer, so forth and so on. But if you can get a hard copy, you can go to our books page and you can see the particular hard copy or go to your local, you know, patronize your local Bible bookstore in a particular area. That is always good to do as well. Now, verse 15 says, it says, love not. This is a command. Love not, right? Love not the world. 
love not the seclorum. We are in the world, but we're not of the world, and we love not the world. This is kind of hard for some because we even see within some of the so-called reggae nowadays, some of the lyrics are very dubious. Voices of angels, but relics of demons. Because the relix, for those who say that Rastafari, it does not edify, does not build I and I up, and does not be a clear and crystal witness to the teaching of the King of Kings and his Christ. So we are not to love the world, neither the things that are in the world. It says, if any man love the world, the love of the Abba is not in him. This is very, very clear. He says, if any man, if any one of us so-called loves the world, the love of Abba is not in us. See, these are things we got to meditate on in our meditation time. Wow. If we, if, we, if we love the things that are in the world. No, we use these things in the world. You understand? In other words, if you got money, you don't love the money. You don't worship the money. Let the money worship you. You know what I'm saying? Let the money love you, but you don't love the money. You use the money for the kingdom. You see, this is, this is what prepares us, you know what I'm saying, for governance. You know what I'm saying? See, this shows that we, if we trust him, right, if we trust him with his word and on his word, he then trusts us because we have shown ourselves faithful, you know what I'm saying, faithful and true. So if any man loved the world... The love of the Abba is not in him. So if any man loves the seclorum, you understand know that means if you love worldly standards or you're trying to appeal to worldly standards or you're trying to water down Rastafari to worldly standards, the love of Abba is not in you. You can talk all you want about love, 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 love. But whose love is it? It's not John's love. There's all kinds of love in the world. There's love. Some people love stealing. Some people love killing, some people love robbing, some people love murdering, some people love whoremongering, some people love all kinds of things. But that's not John's love. That's why he says simply, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of Abba, the love of the Father, is not in him. Verse 16 now explains it even clearer. It says, for all that is in the world, for everything that we see in the secular rum, right, the secular rum, everything we see in the secular rum, the secular room, for all that's in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, the desire of the flesh, the desire of the eyes, and the pride of life, the pride of life, these are not of the Father. They're not of Abba Kedus. They're not of Kedus Abba Right? They're not. They're not at all. Right? But it's of the world. It's of the world. So ones who try to deceive... See, that's what it says. People deceive themselves. You know Because he gives his word clearly. So either they're not reading it, either they're not listening to it, or either it's going in one ear and out the next, but still they are responsible because you're supposed to pay attention. That's the price of the truth. The price of truth is to pay attention. Right? To pay attention. Be still and to know, Jah, for all that is in the world, the lust, the desire of the flesh. You understand? The desire of the flesh. And when you break this down, you see it every day, all day, on TV, in Babylonian media. These three, these three right here, these three dirty spirits. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. You understand? The pride of life. You know, this false worldly pride. This is not of the Father. This is not of the Abba. This is not of Abba Kedus. It is of the Alem. It is of the Seclorum. It's not of the Father. Verse 17. And the world, this world, the Seclorum is passing away. You understand? It's, it's dying you know, a very hard death because they just don't want to let go. They're even talking about trying to do a new world order out of this old world order. But the world passes away. So this world is fading away. So if you're all plugged into this world, guess what? When the world passes away and this dispensation is over, there you go. You understand? There you go. Apart from the grace of God, there you go. You understand? The world passes away and the lust, all these desires, you understand? All these false desires thereof, 
But he that doeth, here's the key again, he that doeth the will, what is the will of God? He that doeth the will of the King of Kings and his Christ abideth, that means liveth, his liberty is for either. You understand? He abideth, he liveth forever. Now the children, the children, and this is like the newborn. Remember how this connects with this particular teaching here on the first principle of the word of Jah in this destined to reign, Jah's people, I and I, who are Jah's people, you understand, who are the children of Jah Rastafari, the once lost but now found Beta Israel. We are destined to reign. But we first have to recognize the structure, the foundation of the kingdom. You understand, we have to recognize upon what is the kingdom principle set. What, what is the kingdom of the Lord, the kingdom of Adonai set upon? So here it's warning now to the children. It's warning to those of you who are newborns or those of you who are newcomers or those of you who might have been tried in Rastafari but recognize more than ever the need truly to be born again according to the teaching of His Majesty in and through our black Lord and Savior Yeshua HaMoshiach. He says, um, little children or the children are warned against apostates. Apostates are those who fall away, who have fallen away from the true Aritua Hymenot, from the true right and exact faith. You understand? The faith of the King of Kings and His Christ, like the careless so-called Ethiopians at home and abroad. And if you look at a lot of the modern Ethiopians, who's going to do a lecture, in fact, let's get that note right here, just put this out there, we're going to do a lecture, maybe look forward to it. Um, uh, if the EOTC, the Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahido Church, keeps using the white or the Euro images of Jesus or Caesar Borgias and his family, why not just be a Roman Catholic? You understand? See, what we're touching on is a level of apostasy since the, 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 the creeping coup against Moa on Bessa the Imma Negeta Yehuda Kadamawi Haila Shalan says Shiyuma Egeziavia Nugusha Neges Ze Ethiopia. You understand? That creeping coup, that, that rebellion against the King of Kings and his Christ. Has the EOTC become Roman Catholic? Have they become Roman Catholic in their iconography, in their icons? You see how all these whitewashed images have, have, have crept in to the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Once the Ethiopian Orthodox Church was the evidence you know, for the black Jesus, for the black Messiah, for that, for that true ancient truth of the humanity of Christ and our identity as well in Christ according to the seed, according to the Zer the true house of Israel. You understand? But most of the world believes, you understand, that the Jews who call themselves Jews, but here's the half of the story that they haven't been told. So almost every whitewashed image that they use is basically part of the Renaissance images of Europe. So these images don't even go as far back as some of the oldest icons, you understand, the true icons, of Yeshua, of his mother, you understand, and of our patriarch and matriarchs of the scripture, of our ancestors, if you please. Even the Russian Orthodox is more black, you understand, in its iconography than this apostate Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahedo Church. And some will say, well, it doesn't matter what, 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 image, what color he was, whether he was black or white. That is a lie from the pits of hell. You understand? Because the scripture speaks about his humanity. You understand that he took on I and I flesh. You understand that he took on I and I flesh. You understand? So you can recognize it. You can recognize it even right here. That is that God was one of us. He is one of us. You understand? That's the half of the story that the lost sheep have not been told. You understand? And if they could have it their way, you understand? 
they would not like us to be told that because it's so very important. This is why the scripture says, this is why the scripture says right here um, that one who does not, you know, who does not accept that Christ, you know, when it says how to tell the spirit of, a, of the Antichrist, it says, hereby know ye the spirit. I'm going to chapter 4 right here because it says, beloved, don't believe, don't trust every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of Ha Elohim, whether they are of God, whether they are of the truth, because many false prophets are going out into the world. Now, the marks of these false teachers, false prophets, and the false doctrine, is a false doctrine of Christ's person, which is the whitewashed, blonde hair, blue eyes, Kaiser Borgia image, which is all the outgrowth of the iconoclast or the whitewashing age when the majority of the true images, the Ethiopian images, the black racial images of Yeshua, of Jesus and his mother and the family were whitewashed. So it says, hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Here's how we know. It says, every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. So every time they say to us that it doesn't matter what color Jesus Christ was, they basically are those that do not confess that he has come in the flesh, that he's come in his Ethiopian humanity. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ was Yeshua, Hamushiach, is come in the flesh, is not of God. And this is the what? The spirit. This is the spirit. Do we see spirit? Or do we feel spirit? Do we perceive spirit? This is the spirit of Antichrist, of Christos Tekawami, that opposes Christ, even Christ in his kingly character, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. It says, ye are of God, little children, and have what overcome them. It doesn't say you are of God, and it doesn't say that we are of Jah, and we will overcome them. It says that we are of Jah, we are of Ha Elohim, and we have overcome them. That the little children have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you, he that is in I and I and I, in the true teaching, the Tawahedo Ritua Hymenot, than he that is in the world. You understand? Than he that is in the world. So let's just return right here to 1 John chapter 2. Right, verse 18, where the children are warned against apostates, those who have fell away from the true apostolic constitution, uh, from the true teaching of the apostles who deny the true deity. They deny the true divinity of Christ. They deny the true divinity of Christ. They deny the Father, right, and they deny the Son. Let, 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 let's uh, bring this up. They deny the Father. Look at this. They deny the Father. You see? They deny Adamawi Haila Selassie. deny the Father. And they deny the Son. You understand? Know and they deny the Son, Yeshua HaMoshiach. Jesus Christos Getachim. Because the Father and the Son, according to the Bible, the Father and the Son is one. You understand? Know is one. Different dispensation for bearing witness to the same truth, the same word. This is why it's so beautiful when we study of the King of Kings that we can clearly see in the teaching of His Majesty a very pure, both teaching as well as in His life, a manifestation of so much of the, 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 the way, the truth, and the life of Christ. That's why many of us say that if it wasn't for Edomawi Hala Selassie and his testimony, many of us would not be reading the Bible, studying the Bible, seeking to pray and to live according, live godly, live according to what the Bible originally, the original message, because one had to testify. And, and, and Yeshua, when he speaks about the Father and the Son and the mystery of God and Christ in, in his high priestly prayer, in John's Gospel, yeah, Johannes Wengel, chapter 15, 16 especially, and 17, it's very important for us to study that and to digest that. So they deny, these apostates, 
They deny the true identity or the true deity, the true divinity of Christ. Reminding of how they deny the true divinity of Ketamawi, Haila, Shalase. Yet, you know, they deny his majesty divinity, but then they will eat a, a, a black cake, you know, a cake, a chocolate cake or something. And when they eat it, they say, mmm, this is so divine. Right? It's so divine to die for. You know, you hear the Gentiles saying this. So they eat a piece of cake, and the cake can be so divine, but they dare open their filthy Gentile mouths and say that our Godfather and King of Kings is not divine after all of the signs, you understand, after all of the, the revelation, after all the manifestation of this word that they cannot naysay. They can't, they, you know, all they can do is say, well, I don't believe that, I don't accept that. But they can't bring, even, even the theologians, and saying we, we have the theologians going back to their Bible, and sometimes they don't want to speak again, because they know they cannot speak against the truth of the King of Kings and his Christ. And this is what proves to us in the ministry, you understand? Know and this is part of that testing of our faith. It's part of that patience. It's part of that growth. You understand? Know but even at the point that we are now, we can recognize what the Word says that we have overcome. See, we have overcome the world, and all begins from the first part of 1 John chapter 2. Which is, my little children, these things write I to you, that ye sin not, that you don't commit chatiyat. Chatiyat, matat, means to miss something. So whenever we miss, we say we're rastafari. But if we don't be a faithful witness because of ignorance, not even knowing things, in a sense we sin. In a sense we miss the mark. And that's, and that's major. Because we say, well, 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 I was saying, hey, creator, because Bob Marley said that, and the other writers said that. Yeah, but that was only half correct. So you have to acknowledge that that was a, a sin, a missing of the mark. But here's the good news. If any man sin, if any one of us falls short, as it were, we have an advocate you know, we have somebody, someone who goes to, to legal bat. Really, Yeshua, he goes to legal battery and assault against the devil, the accuser, for us, you understand, know because of our faith in him to the glory of Kedusa Batachin. Because it says right here, it says, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, with Abba, Jesus Christos, Yeshua, HaMoshiach, Sadiqu. Tzadikul, the, the, the priest after the order of Malkad Tzedek, he is the Tzadik, he is the righteous, he is the just, you understand, and because of him and through him we are righteousness, you understand, he looks upon us, you understand, even as little children in that righteousness because of our advocate and because of his advocacy. His, adv his adv advocacy, advocacy, yeah. His advocacy is the work of, the, the advocacy is the work of Yeshua, HaMoshiach, for sinning saints. What? There can be a sinning Kedusan? Really, if we be honest, most of us, before we really receive and learn and grow up to him, we were making buku errors. You know So we were Kedusan, because we say, yes, I and I is Ayla. So we are Isla, you understand, we are Kedus, Kedusan, but we are falling short here or there, but it's our advocate, you understand, it's giving that work to our advocate, Yeshua HaMoshiach, who, Scripture says, at the right hand of God, you understand, at the right hand, who Revelation says, he is upon the throne, he sits down on the throne with the Father, and to those of us who overcome, will we have a right to sit upon the throne, right? So we have to recognize these words as we study here and there. We can put it together because he is the propitiation for our hot yacht. You understand? Behold the Lamb of God which takes away the sins of the world. Yeshua HaMoshiach was born to what? Save his people from what? From their sins, from their ignorance. You understand? From that generational curse even. And not for Ours only, not only for us, because it's first to the Jew, it's first to the Judahite, you understand, and then it is to the Gentiles, but also for the Hatiyat of the whole world, who also in him, through him, receive, you understand, they have to receive the truth. 
They have to receive the Spirit. They have to receive the truth. So you have some Christians who, they are in the Spirit of Christ. They still might, might believe or think that the white Jesus is the reality, but they got it half right. You understand? Know they're in the Spirit. They actually do those works of charity. You understand? Know but they have been deceived to believe that, that, that Caesar Bogiers is his image is the image of our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. You understand? So we have to recognize, you know, behold the goodness and the severity of Jah, and we have to be on the right side. Over, over. Now it says right here, little children, verse 18. It is the last time. This is the Mecherasha Gizeh. This is the last time for this cycle, this cyclic, this sick cycle. And as ye have heard that the Christos Tekawami, the anti, the opposer of Christ, the opposer of the anointed, even the opposer of Christ in his kingly character, shall come. Even now are there many antichrists. So even in this day and time, there were many who were antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time that we're moving into that last dispensation of what Johannes was saying to the little to the little children, to those newborns, right? He says on um, verse nineteen, they went now some of these antichrists. You understand these antichrists. Now it's very important to really understand that. Because are there antichrists among the brethren or that creep in amongst us that are actually against Christ in his kingly character, against that testimony of Kedemawi Haile Selassie concerning our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshe, concerning the Bible, concerning the true liberty. You understand? It says that they went out from us. This is one of the verses I wanted to point out to Brother Manly about the whole judgment in that particular scripture, although I want to get into um, a teaching just on that particular point. What we're trying to do right in these vids right here is kind of catch up you know what I'm saying, where we were on um, John's people destined to reign, to give an overstanding, to reinforce certain areas, and also to touch on even other aspects of our salvation, you understand, of the fullness, you understand, of the way, the truth, and the life. So it says that they went out from us, but they were not of us. It is ones that went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would, no doubt, without any doubt, have continued with us. They would have continued to trod with I and I and I. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. This is very, very important because this went out from us. They're speaking that they went out from us not like they didn't be, be Rasta in that sense, but that they went out from us doctrinally. They went out from us. They went astray from the teaching of His Majesty. They were teaching other things that contradict and disagree with the pure teaching of Kedemawi Haile Selassie, with the pure teaching of the Scripture, with the pure teaching and testimony of Yeshua HaMoshiach of Geta Chini Yesus Christos. They went out from us according to doctrine. They went away from the true doctrine and into false doctrine, or they made up their own thing. All right? Doubtless then, as now, they are deniers of the Son. They are deniers of our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. You know what I'm saying? Even amongst I and I. But we stick to the truth of His Majesty, and if they want to get off-ended, if they want to get offended, if they want to go out, then let them go out. Because Rastafari House... And the house of Christ cannot be divided. The true house of Christ cannot be divided. They can go out. You know what I'm saying? They might want to bring confusion in. But if the children stick to the teachings that, that even John is laying out here, you know what I'm saying? It will be clear who these and those are. Now, they still will call themselves, as in early time, they'll call themselves Christian. Many of these ones will still call themselves Rasta. They will still call themselves Rastafari, but, but that should not fret you. You understand? If you recognize that as little children, we have overcome the world. So we just continue to be strong 
in the Lord and in the power of His might. And we put on that full armor so we can fight the fight, overcome, and manifest that victory in Jasai. Verse 20 says, But ye, but y'all, y'all have an unction. I and I have an anointing. You understand? An unction. From who? Kedusu. From the Holy One. And ye know all things. In other words, it is that, that's why Christ taught the disciples. He said, stay in the upper room and to pray. What do you tell them in Acts of the Apostles chapter, chapter 1? To pray for the Holy Spirit. Now some would say, well, that's what was done then. That's a template of what even we must do now. You understand? Even if we are on a solo walk because there's not others to fellowship with in that particular area, we have to go into that upper room, that upper room of our heart and our mind, and to pray. You understand? Without doubting, without wavering. This is why we went over um, James chapter 1. You understand? If anyone lack wisdom, if any man lack wisdom, he should pray, doubting nothing. Don't doubt anything because the one who doubts the double-mindedness, that's what leads to failure. You understand? That's what, in a sense, leads from this new abortion, I mean, new birth to a new abortion, a type of abortion where one is spiritually aborted. You understand? Somebody asked me that one day a while ago. It was like, um, is new birth, could it be a new, could it be abortion? You understand? Could it be abortion? Another kind of abortion is a spiritual abortion, that they began going there, you understand, but either something offended them, either they got spiritually lazy, or they followed men and people. They felt that the men and people were more important than this word, or they felt that, well, I can't understand this word, and did not even pray to Jah for understanding, pray to Jah for that guidance. You understand, they did not found their house on the rock. What Christ says, the one who found his house on the rock is the one who hears the word and does it. You understand? While the foolish man, he hears it too, but he doesn't do it. So we have to decide when we hear these messages, are we listening just to listen, or are we listening to learn to do? You understand? So it can manifest an I and I life. And when it manifests an I and I life, each of our lives, we begin to have that confidence. We begin to have that firmness because we don't only, it's not just that we had trust or faith in Brother Yadin or in, 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 in sister or brother here or there who might have spoke it, but now we know it for ourselves. You understand? In a sense, we have that. It's become experiential. You understand? It's become real. That's the whole point, you understand, of the tribe, of the Yad. Verse 21, it says, I have not written to you because ye know not the truth. I can say I'm not, I'm not reasoning on this because y'all don't know it. Don't think I'm reasoning here. I'm saying, oh, I know it. Y'all don't know. No, 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 no. Like, like Johannes say, Johannes is saying right here, I have not written to you because you know not the truth, but because you know it. I am persuaded that every true Rastafari, even though maybe their knowledge of the Bible, you understand, is still weak, and they are strengthening it by studying and praying and fellowship, but I know that they know it, every true Rastafari already know this, and that no lie is of the truth, because they are truly Rastafari, because that spirit of truth, then they already have that, that inborn conception. You understand? Now it is time to bring that to the new birth. You see, the inborn conception is like when, when um, the male, in a sense, um, 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 uh, fructifies, would you say that? When the, when the male seed reaches the ovum and, 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 and there, there's a connection. But then there's a process of growth, you understand, that when it's perfected, it is that new birth. It's that new birth. But should that process be interrupted, you understand? Should that process, and remember, in, in, in spirituality, we're not talking the same way as in physicality. We're using the physical as an example. Like Christ said, if I've taught you earthly things and you do not get it, how can you get spiritual things? So the earthly things are like a parable in, this, in, in, in themselves that helps to explain the mishtir, that helps to explain that mystery, you understand, which is, in a sense is based on that ancient mythology because this, this truth, you understand, is to the very foundation, was known before the foundation of the world, all right? So it says right here, 
who is a liar. Who is a liar? Who is a liar? But he that denieth, he that denieth that Yeshua, he that denieth that Jesus is Moshiach. Moshiach. Who is a liar? One who denies that Yeshua is Moshiach. He is what? Antichrist. He is against, he opposes Christ. Even try to set up himself instead of Christ that denieth the Father and the Son. So to deny, this is what's very interesting about this right here. One more time with this. Let's get this right here. This is what's interesting about this right here. He denieth, you, you, you get what it says? He denieth the Father and the Son. You see, he did not the Father, right? He did not the Father and the Son. He denieth the Father and the Son. This is so very, very important. That if we have the Son, because it said no man can get to the Father except through the Son. So we get to recognize that the Son is very, very important in this equation. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the whole teaching of His Majesty, basically. You understand when you understand? That's the teaching of His Imperial Majesty, Ketamawi, Haile Selassie. So it says that whoever denieth the Son, whoever denieth Yeshua, Whoever denies Jesus, whoever denies Yehoshua, right? What does it say? The same have not the Father. You understand? And if one has a faulty conception of Yehoshua, of Yeshua, that means by virtue of that spiritual law, they will have a faulty conception or receptivity to Abba Kedus, to Kedus Abba Tachin, because their conception of Yeshua, you understand, is Faulty. Remember conception and then birth. Conception precedes birth. So the inborn what? An inborn conception. So what we need to do is Rastafari is to bring that inborn conception to mature that. You understand? To mature that. So it's like watering. That seed is there. We have to water it. You understand? And nurture it so that it may grow up. You understand? And when it grows up, you understand? That seed now becoming like a tree, it bears fruits. You understand? It bears fruit. So Christ said that he is the vine and we are the what? Branches. So we must be connected, you understand, to the vine. That's why his majesty quoted John 15 and 5 in the prayer to Yeshua. He says, may our kith and kin who rise up in the future take note of the word that you have spoken without me, without Yeshua, without the Son, we can do nothing. So if we look at Rastafari right now and say, hey, we're not doing all that we should be doing, really. We have to check what is that standing of Yeshua, of Jesus Christos, of the teaching of His Majesty, and the application thereof in our heads, in our heart, you understand, and in the real manifestation of Ras the far right. Right? So it says, whoever denieth the Son, whoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father, but he that acknowledgeth, he that acts on that knowledge of the Son hath the Father also. So we begin with the Son. The Son, Yeshua, is our gateway. You know what I'm saying? Yeshua is our geta way. You understand? Know our geta way. Our coming out of Babylon. He is our geta way or our geta way. Right? If you understand the, the seminar work right there. Verse 24 says, Let that therefore abide in you. This is so key right here. Let that what, let what therefore, let that word sound, let that knowledge, let that idea dwell in you. Let that live in you. Let that become your liberty. You know saying? Let that therefore abide in you. Let that tabernacle in you. Let that spend the night in you. You know saying? Let that, ta you know, let that illuminate the darkness and the ignorance in you. You understand? Because the light, the true light has come. Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard, which you have heard from the Berashit. Right? From the Berashit. From the beginning. Even from the beginning of Torah. You understand? Shall remain. Shall what? Remain. Not leave. Not go out. Shall remain in you. Ye also shall continue you shall continue, not be cut off. You see, ones that say, Rasa, 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 that don't have the teaching of the Matthew about the Son, they will be cut off. It's not me that say that. 
I did not say that because I might not like this man, like that man. It is the teaching of his majesty. We must show ourselves faithful. You know what I'm saying? If we not show ourselves faithful with that which belongs to another man, who will give I and I, I and I own? You see, these are all basic principles, or you could call them king symbols, if you will. Whatever, get them. Get, let this abide in you. Ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father, because the Father and the Son is one. And this is the promise. This is our expectation. This is what we hope for. This is what we look for, that he has promised us. Look at verse 25. 1 John chapter 2, verse 25. And tell I not, this is not a Rastafari. And this is the promise, the hope that he has promised us. Even eternal life. Even eternal life. So we as the former generation of Rastafari had that first fruit. When he say, I and I and I die. That's that first fruit. You understand? They had that inborn conception. You understand? But now it has to be brought to full term. It has to be brought to maturity. We have to grow up to him in all things that pertain us to godliness, to righteousness, and to eternal life. Because it says, what is the promise? What is the hope? What is the expectation that he has promised us, that he has caused us to expect, that he has caused I and I to hope, even eternal, eternal life or life eternal. These things I have written to you concerning them that seduce you. It's interesting that he says that. He's written to us these things in, 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 in 1 John chapter 2 concerning those who seduce us. We can see how the Rastafari movement, you know, over the past even 40 years, you know, how many temptations have come along, how many seductions have come along to try to take us off of that path, to bring us into worldliness, into world conformity. And even some have conformed. And you see what has been the end of that if they have not repented themselves and returned to the straight and narrow. Verse 27 says, but the anointing, the Christina, but the anointing, you understand, which ye have received, which we Kabbalah. It's not just the anointing of physical oil, uh, just on the fire cycle, but this is on the, 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 the spiritual, right? It is what? It is an anointing which we have received. It says ye have received. But when you read ye, you must receive it as we. You understand? And when you read you, you must receive that word as I. You understand? In, in the overstanding. That's what the meditation of mind is all about. You understand? The iditation, if you please. Not just the iditate on nothingness, but I take on that which is everythingness, right? But the anointing which you have received of him abideth, once again this word abideth. Abide means to dwell. Abide means to tabernacle. Abide means to live as our liberty. You understand? Know it says we have received of him. It says, but the anointing which you have received, Kabbalah, Ebel of him abideth in you. And ye need not that any man teach you. See, when we receive that anointing, we don't need a man to teach I and I. You understand? We don't need anyone to teach I and I, but each one teach one in that sense. But, but it's the Holy Spirit that is teaching each of us, and we are now sharing with each other what thus saith the Spirit and, 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 and helping ones to overstand this. We are iron sharp and iron. In other words, let's put it like that. So I and I sword is sharp. And the sword is what? The word of God. You understand that sword that we read about in Ephesians chapter 6? It explains it. It's the word of God. So how many of us have sharp swords out there in the field, out there in the world, or are our swords dull because our knowledge and application of the word of God is also dull? You understand these questions we need to ask individually and collectively. But as the same anointing, the same anointing, the same Christina, the same anointing teaches you all things. It teaches all of I and I. Not just I and I and one of us. You understand? But all of I and I if we receive it. You understand? If we have faith in it. If we pray for it. If we don't doubt it. You understand? If we don't yea and nay. You understand? We either yay, yay it. Like Christ says, it's better... You know, he would rather we be cold or hot, but not lukewarm. Too much lukewarm vibes. 
it's better one to say, nah, I mean, I check for that top, you understand? And then they get a better knowledge of it, they get a better stance on it, oh, chan. And that sorrow brings them to repentance. You understand? Then one say, well, if, if he with he. You understand? Because what they're doing is, is, is they are keeping that in, in like a frozen psychological state. They're keeping that away. You understand? Because remember what Christ says? If you're, if you're lukewarm, he spits you. He spits you out your mouth. You know, you want a cold drink and somebody give you a warm, lukewarm drink. You spit it up. You know, you all, so the same thing Christ is showing us by that example. He says, but the same anointing teaches you all things. And is, and is what? And is onet. It's onet. Onet is truth. It is onet. It is onet and is no lie. It is no lie. It is no lie. People say, oh, no, that's a lie. They can't prove it. Well, bring forth your evidence. You understand? Bring forth your witnesses. Or listen and acknowledge, affirm that it is true. Say, Ilnet, no. It is true. Ilnet, no, we not. It is true. And even as it has taught you, even as, 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 as that same anointing has taught I and I, ye shall abide. We shall what? Tabernacle. Think of when you think of that word abide, think of the word tabernacle. We shall abide. We shall tabernacle. We shall tabernacle in him. And now, little children, right? And now, little children, abide in him. Tabernacle in him. In spirit and in truth. Tabernacle in him. That when he shall appear. In other words, that when he shall reveal, you understand? When he shall reveal himself and when he shall appear, we may be confident. We may have confidence. You understand? We may have confidence. You know, like when, when the item is ifident, is confident about something, there's that firmness. You understand? There's that, there's that surety of spirit. So we may have confidence and not be what? Ashamed. That key word. Ashamed before him at his coming. Last verse here to complete this chapter, brothers and sisters. This is how the little children, how, if we are all born again and we're little children, we are little children of Jah. We're sons and daughters of God, but in that new birth, you understand, when we're first born, we are like little children, right? How do we know? How do we recognize one another? How do we recognize who truly is our brother and sister, you understand, in the King of Kings and his Christ? Verse 29 says this, If ye know that he is righteous, if ye know that he is Sadiq, if you know that he is after the order of Melchizedek, but if you know that he is Sadiq, which is the very idea in the sense that it began on, saying that we have an advocate with the Abba, with Abbat, right, with the Father, Jesus Christos, the Sadiqu, right? And then the 29th verse says, if you know, not if you believe, not if you guess, you know, but if you know, you shall what? Know the truth. Not believe the truth, not get. you shall know the truth. So if ye, now let's say this like this. Here's how you digest, here's how you receive the word. If we, it says ye, so it's like if it's being spoken to us, we open the Bible and the Bible is speaking to us, we receive it. This is the metaphysical level. This is the metaphysical understanding. This is the mystery school of Christ, of Christ in his kingly character. If we now receive this word, it's not just the way you see it here, if ye know. Ye know is speaking to you. Now you receive it. So you say, if we know that he is sadic, that he is righteous, then we know that everyone that doeth, that doeth righteousness, you understand, that, that doeth True Christness, you understand? Righteousness is what is born, right? Is what is born of Him. This is how we know each other. See how this connects to the new birth? This is a very beautiful, a very beautiful area of Scripture. And brothers and sisters, maybe it's been a little bit long winded, but you know, when you, you, you haven't read over this and study this in this way and share this with brothers and sisters whom I love so much, and, you know, I long, you'll seem to see the eye them face. But the main thing that I long for even more than that is for all of I and I, 
all of those who truly have been called, you understand, who have been called of him, you know, have been chosen by him and seek to be faithful to him, that, that we rise in grace. You know, and more than just seeing faith and more than just that, that level that the world is, is, so, is so fond of. You understand? We must get that abiding. You see how many times it says, this, let this abide in you. Let that abide in you. Let this abide in you. It sounds like John's Wengel, the Johannes um, Wengel, or John's Gospel, where it speaks in this same um, spiritual, metaphysical way, but it's very holistic. It's very practical. You understand? It's that which we aspire to. You understand? But in the ignorance of the teaching of His Majesty, we didn't find it. You understand? But now that we once again um, get get orientated, you understand? There was look to the east. We, we 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 now look to the King of Kings, that that Black King. You understand? Because in Him we have found the Redeemer, our kinsman Redeemer. Now on the on the outro of this, we want to touch on one one area of Scripture on the outro because. You all already know this. We, we touched on it often before. It says right here, Study. Study. Be diligent to shew thyself approved to God, to Ha Elohim, to the Hashem, to Kedemawi, Haile Shalash, the Haile Shalash, the first, in and through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. A workman, because there's work to be done. But the first prerequisite is to study. We have to know what it is that we are working. You understand? And, and, and what is the order of, of, of the work? What the qualification? Everything about the work we need to know. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. You see how before I was speaking about ashamed? Right? And here it says, need not be ashamed. Rightly, right? Rightly it says, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, here we have... We have verse 28 again in 1 John's epistle. And now, little children, abide. Have your liberty. Our liberty should be in him. Abide in him that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. And this is one thing that Rastafari and I and I... Um, I and I ancestors, I and I forerunners, you understand that we have to take great um, joy and, and, and I light in is that they were not ashamed. They took great confidence, great confidence to declare to the world that John lived and behold the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed, right? to loose the seven seals, to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And this is how we know that I and I, as John's people, are destined to reign. My brothers and sisters, um, we're going to pause for the chorus. Uh, once again, Shabbat Shalom, Senbet Salam. But one thing that we need to get more in the regular habit and practice of is, is, is the blessing. What do I mean by the blessing? In the area that we point to so often, Numbers chapter 6, which is very, very important. Numbers chapter 6, because if I'm correct, it's in Numbers chapter 6 that we have, that we have the priestical blessing. I will go through this with the eye then, and we'll focus on it in its own, in its own pod, you understand, or its own vlog. And it's from Numbers chapter 6. Verse 22, and it says, And Yahweh spake to Moshe, to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron, Aaron, who was an Old Testament type of Christos, a type of Christ, a type of the Moshiach, and to his sons, to his sons, right, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying to them, Yahweh bless thee and keep thee. Yahweh make his face 
shine upon thee and be gracious to thee. Yahweh lift up his countenance, his face upon thee, and give thee shalom, and give thee peace. And they shall put my name in the name of Getachinam and Hanatachin, Jesus Christos, Adonai, Yeshua, HaMoshiach, upon the children of Israel, upon the Bane Yishroel. And I, John says, shall bless them. So, my brothers and sisters, be blessed. In the name of the King of Kings, in the name of Abba Kedus, in the name of His Son, our Black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus Christos, Getachin. Because Yeshua, the Black Messiah, is Adoni. He is Lord and Master and Ruler. Shalom. Salam Tanat. Ain't I still in? Stay tuned, my brothers and sisters. Pray for I and I, I and I, pray for the I. And be blessed and have a blessed day. Shalom.